there's an interesting video making its rounds from Jacob Fouts, actually a series of videos. So Jacob Fouts has come out and had some videos kind of giving you the, what he calls the real truth of bass fishing, what pros won't tell you. And it seems to have had an adverse effect, probably not what he was expecting on his fishing career. I'm gonna spare you all the details and you can go watch his video if you want. And I'll, I'll put a link in the end screen and in the, in the description down below if you wanna check his video at the end of this. But he basically calls out that, hey, it's not about catching fish, it's about promoting what you can sell, how big your social media is. But fishing has always been about that. Fishing has always been a marketing platform. It's not necessarily a real job. It's even pro, pro sports, right? They're marketing platforms for performance. Bill Vance, Roland Martin, Ike, KVD, those guys are all huge marketers. They move a ton of product. It's always been about moving product for your partners, your sponsors, your, your relationships. So I think he said it, his, he answered his own video, in his own video about you know, creating value. As an angler that wants to make it, you need to create value for your sponsors, your partnerships. Not every, some people do it through social media, some people through content, sometimes through tournament performance, other ways. I think Jacob kind of needs to look inside and figure out what's his unique way to bring value. What is he going to bring when he comes to these conversations and talks with potential sponsors and partners? Some ideas for you. Hey, for your boat partnerships, maybe you could do demo rides on weekends you don't make cuts. You could, uh, for your fishing line, your rods and reels, your hooks, your tackle, maybe you should be visiting new stores for them, opening accounts, getting them leads, generating revenue and sales for them. What can you do? It doesn't have to be social media. Maybe you don't need to create content for your social media. Maybe you can create content for them they can use on their social media. All these brands have their own social media. Maybe you can just help create content so they don't have to pay somebody else to create content for them and that's how you add value. I could keep going, there's lots of things. So in Jacob's second video, turns out that two of his current sponsors left him after he told the truth in his truth series. Uh, so it's an interesting backlash that has occurred. So it'll be interesting to see if Jacob, this could go two ways. He's either going to gain a lot of support from companies that appreciate his, his you know, truth, reality, rawness, authenticity, or if partners don't like the sounds of it, maybe he's going to get... I don't know, blackballed or outcasted. It'll be really interesting to see how this unfolds. I'd love to hear your perspective in the comments, what you think of his videos. If you haven't go seen it, go check it out. Then come back and leave me a comment what you think. I think it's a really interesting thing. It'll be awesome to see how this unfolds on this series in Jacob's 2024 season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. I think Jacob's a good dude. I think he catches them. I actually thought he'd catch them better in his rookie year than he did. So... I'm, I'm going to tune in. I'm going to follow. I'd like to see what you guys think. If you haven't seen Jacob's video yet, here it is on the screen right here. Go check it out and then come back and let me know your thoughts.